How you guys doing? My name is Art Fusco, and uh, I decided I wanted to show this. It's a, uh, it's it's this um, vintage map of San Diego. I actually had uh, a full map of this that I've given to my daughters. So, um, and I actually do have a larger version of this, but it's really hard to open on on my normal computer. So I'm going to open it on this page, and voila. So um, what I like about it is you can actually zoom in really, really, really close. So, um, you know, you have details that we can work with. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about some of these details. So first of all, um, there we go. Come on. So first of all, this this picture uh was probably drawn on uh, Inspiration Point in what is now Balboa Park, but was at the time called City Park. Uh, this was drawn in 1876, uh, as you can see, from the northeast looking southwest. So, um, so I'll show you, I'll tell you a little bit of what, we, what we're looking at here. So this is this is Newtown, basically. This is this is the new town of San Diego. There is an old town of San Diego which is a little north from here, but here is Newtown, uh, which originally started right at this peak, this point right here. Uh, this point was uh, originally called uh, um, Point of the Dead, Punto de los Muertos, actually, by the Spanish. And the reason why was because uh, during their rule, there was a ship that came down, and uh, a lot of their crew had been killed, died of scurvy and whatnot, and so they came to this point to bury their dead. And um, so there's a plaque right here on the on a corner, like a little like a little uh, 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 historical marker that talks about that. So yeah, this is Punto de los Muertos. Uh, was Punto de los Muertos and became Seaport Village. And um, if you're wondering why, if you're wondering why the land looks a lot shorter than it's supposed to be, that's because they extended the during the the early 1900s to the 1940s. They actually extended the land. Now, how they did this was they dug up they dr they dug up mud and silt from the bottom of the bay. And they used it to fill in more land, and that way they were able to get more streets. Now, if you were to look at this from, if you were to look at this from a uh, a modern day map, you would see that Harbor Drive uh, would run along this beach line here, and on the very other on the very other side would be a uh, Pacific Highway that would run around through this route. Um, now, what we're looking at here when, we, when we're talking about the piers, first of all, this Harbor Drive would be right along this beach line right here. And on the other side of this area would be the San Diego Convention Center. Um, so, uh, if you wanted to, if you look down through Fifth Avenue, which is the main, which is one of the main thorough, thorough uh, fairs for downtown San Diego, you could see it starts right around here and it goes all the way down. And at the very end of that street is this pier. And on the, and where this, the, the convention center would be right around here. Um, um, right here, where the railroad grounds are, this is where the Santa Fe Depot is today. And, uh, also, um, there's this pier here. This pier is, this pier is, um, was originally, I believe this was, it's now Broadway Pier, but I'm trying to see what was the name of this, it was E Street, that goes all the way down. And becomes Broadway. And uh, next to the Broadway Pier, 
you have over here you have uh, some ships that that like that ships that you would use to go cruising around the bay um, and then next to that would be the the Midway Museum and next to that would be of course Seaport Village and all that um, to the right would be where the San Diego Maritime Museum would be around this around these grounds right here um, now backing up a little more this is a this is a, a cana de cholas <laughs> cactus ravine basically um, and uh, this is pretty much ha this pretty much has been is gone now but as you can see it was a it was a little stream that actually separates uh, uh, San Diego from National City. This National City come, begins around this time, this part here. Uh, if you were to back up a little bit, you see there's a lot of ships on the bay. Um, and I wonder if one of these ships is a ship called the Orizaba, which used to, uh, it could be this one here. Uh, which used to freak, which used to, uh, that, the job of that ship was to mainly go and, uh, go back and forth from San Francisco to San Diego and drop off passengers and cargo. Uh, if you're looking, if you look at the, the, the Silver Strand right here, you can see where, um, where the naval base, where the naval SEAL base would be is non-existent because it wouldn't be filled in until the 1940s. Uh, this is the this is the same sealed base that has the swastika building. If you guys, for those local people who know what I'm talking about, uh, these are the Los Coronados Islands right here. As you can see, Coronado Island uh, looks a lot different, and that's because it too hasn't been filled in. Here's uh, Coronado, which used to be called South Island. This is North Island, and. Uh, as you can see, they're separated by a small body of water here, which is called the Spanish Bight. Um, this would this would all be filled in in the 1940s when when uh, the United States uh, had entered World War II, and they needed to properly secure this port. <laughs> so they they dug up the bay to make it not only to make it deeper so that ships can enter the bay but also they made it uh, also they use the excess dirt to uh, fill in the North Island fill in the gap between uh, the Spanish bite between North and uh, South Island uh, put all sorts of land here in the bottom of Coronado which where the Coronado Bay Bridge would someday uh, join the uh, join the two lands and of course they made uh, the base the, the seal base, and they also made Harbor Island, Shelter Island, and they completely redid Mission Bay, which which used to be called False Bay. You can't see any of that here. It goes as far as there. Uh, as, as we go further north, we see that there's nothing at Point Loma except for this little pier right there. You see, uh, you see uh, 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 the lighthouse. You see the lighthouse right there, and then you see the uh, you, you see Fort Gaharos, what well, was formerly Fort Gaharos, um, with just four buildings in it. it um, it's now called Ballast Point. So that's it. That's that's basically what I wanted to show you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it.